What's up guys, Jake here, we're going back into the attack helicopter dating sim. We're hitting up all them helicopters that we missed, starting with the arguably not a helicopter Apache. So let's get to it. And what are you supposed to be? What do you mean I am an attack helicopter? No you are not, just look at you. You look like a weird mix between an airplane and a helicopter. Get out of here, you don't belong among us. Hey, 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 we're gonna support the Osprey. Did I say Osprey? I hope I said Osprey, because that's the one we're doing. Whoa, 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 wait, Sensei, that looks like an M2240 machine gun mount on the loading ramp. So what? That's not all. Look more closely. Oh, I'll look a little more closely. Don't mind if I do. Also a belly mount remotely operated gun turret system. This is the tilt rotor combining the vertical lift capabilities of a helicopter, the fast cruise forward flight efficiency of the fixed wing turbocrop aircraft. I think you should give it a chance, Sensei. It's packing some serious firepower. Okay, but don't cry into me if you die. Because I have a paralyzing fear of zombie helicopters. And I'm not very fond of ghost helicopters either. Uh, oh, okay. Um, I, I won't. I, I promise. Right, let's do this. Yeah, fuck him up, Osprey. The V-22 Osprey attack the enemy vehicles using its tail machine gun. Then takes a second sweep using its belly gatling gun. Well, actually, that wasn't too bad. I'll keep you around for now. I will not disappoint you. And thanks, Osprey, for life, Senpai. I will remember this. Oh, well, it wasn't a big deal. Don't worry about it. But seriously, write it down. I need some affinity, please. Yeah, affinity! Already at three. We just started. We're so good. A few days later, we get to practice early. We find the Osprey practicing with its gatling gun. Oh, hi, Osprey for life. What's up? I see you also had the idea to come here early. Yes, I wanted to practice just a little bit more. Yeah, no, dude, you're doing a good job. Ten, two thumbs up. From what I can see, you're doing great. Good, good work. Thank you for saying that, Osprey for life. I will. Yeah. To five. Oh, that's like probably high. Even later, we're at the beach with our helicopter. We gotta figure out how to pop open this. Almost called it a pumpkin. It's a watermelon because it's green and you can look at it and it says watermelon repeatedly. We are gonna use our machine gun. So we shoot it with our machine gun. The watermelon's filled with holes, but it remains together. That actually worked about as well as I expected it to. Good idea, Osprey for life. Let me help you. Fuck yeah, that worked better than I thought it would. The Osprey shoots her Gatling gun in a precise manner, cutting the watermelon into almost perfect pieces. Um, okay, we won't argue about the definition of the word perfect, but hey. Finally, I thought we would starve. Ugh, can we even eat that? I don't know. Please, one problem at the time. Thanks for your help. It was no big deal, but you owe me one anyway, secret wink. The Osprey sports a really warm and cute smile on her face, allegedly. Oh, I'll make sure to remember it. Yeah. Oh, we're so good! It increased to six! That's not much higher than five, but you know what? It's progress. Leave the scene of the watermelon disaster and go to shore to admire the scenery. Fast forward a little more and it's Valentine's Day! Aw, we're gonna buy something for Osprey, obviously, because that's what the name of this video is. Who else are we gonna fucking buy a gift for? That wouldn't make any sense. We go to the store to buy a gift for V-22 Osprey. As soon as you enter the building, a store clerk approaches you. Oh, <laughs> I forgot how cute that helicopter is. Hi, how can I help you today? I need to get the perfect gift for V-22 Osprey. I really don't know who that is. But what do you have in mind? You know, I don't really know what helicopters like. Do you have any recommendations? I can only spend this much. You pull out some angled $5 notes some coins from your cargo compartment. Yeah, uh, let me see what I can get you. The circler goes to the back a few minutes for com coming back with a few packages. I think I commented on that before. Found a couple of gifts that would be, like, perfect for anyone. Really? Show me what you've got. First of all, a high purity grade oil barrel. Ideal for any helicopter that wants to keep her surface shining. Second, a box of high grade 50 caliber rounds. That's the one for her. She has a gun. That's like her personality is she is gun. That looks very nice and exactly what I'm going to buy for Osprey. It's almost at expiration date, so I'll give you like a special discount. Great. She'll love discount bullets. But wait, there is more. I found this at the back. Any chopper would be lucky to have it. Is that just a bubble wrap? Well, I mean, yeah, but it's pink. Oh. 
So, what are you going to take? I don't know, V-22 Osprey Chan, but I bet she'd not like you to pick any generic gift. Obviously, we go to the ammunition, because I'm not an idiot. I will take the ammunition. Please wrap it up. Right away. You go back to the school's hangar. You put the ammunition box down on Osprey's bed. You write out Valentine's card the best you can and leave it next to the barrel. Barrel? Box. We didn't buy a barrel. We bought a box. She seems happy with it and smiles at you in the distance while loading the new ammunition, ammunition onto belts. Oh, our affinity increased to seven. That's higher than six, but only barely. Seems like you chose well. Yeah, I know. I'm good at this. You go to sleep. Valentine's Day has ended. All right, it's the day before summer break or something. Whatever. We need a study partner, though, and we're going to do Osprey because, of course, we are. Hey, Osprey, do you already have a partner to study with for the exam? No. No, no one really wants to study with the weird airship. It's okay, though. I I'm used to it by now. Ah, uh, so this is kind of awkward. So I was actually going to ask if you want to be my study partner. Where do we even study? Why not at your hangar? What? I don't think it's your kind of place. It's not exactly in the best part of town. Oh, come on. You don't think I'm that stuck up, do you? It's not like that. We're not poor, but... Well, you know our program went over budget. We didn't have a lot left over for a hangar. I just mean... Yeah, you know, we had to share with those... Ugh. Plane girls. You're a plane! But if you're cool with being close to airplanes and airship prototypes, I guess you can come. Of course, I don't really get why I wouldn't be. See you tomorrow, then. You also sent you her coordinates as a text message. You head right to the hangar and go right to bed. But first, you spend some time laying there reviewing flight manuals before falling asleep. Cool. Anyways, you wake up and go directly to Osprey's place. Your bag feels heavier than a box of grid squares with all the flight manuals stuffed inside. You don't remember being given so much information during the school year. You arrive at Osprey's place, a big hangar with big metal doors, as hangars are wont to do. You knock on the side of the door, and after a few seconds, an airplane appears. The airplane has a familiar look? Does it? Hi, uh, I'm here to study with the Osprey V-22. I'm a friend from the Academy. The plane says nothing but steps aside and opens the door fully so you can get in. You go into the house and Osprey comes to greet you. Hi, Osprey for Life Senpai. Did you have trouble finding the place? No, it's a big fucking hangar. I hope you don't mind. A plane let me in, but we didn't really talk, so I, I kind of wasn't sure if this was the place or not. That's X-22. She's my big sister. Oh, that's why she looks so familiar to me. You two live alone here? Yeah, it's actually kind of like her place. She works most of the time, though, so I try to keep it clean when I'm not at the academy. Oh, I see. It's really clean, so you must be doing good work. Osprey for life, senpai. You're making me blush. It's not that great. It's pretty great, though. Look at that. Affinity 8. I don't know what a high number is. You and Osprey laugh a little and start to organize the study materials on top of the table. You start reading and taking notes, comparing flight maneuver techniques and resolving some doubts. Osprey gets all serious all of a sudden now. Uh, something wrong, dude? No, actually, I was just thinking- Oh, don't hurt yourself. Uh, about what? It's just that I told you X-22 was my sister and you didn't ask anything else. You just took my word for it. Why- Why would I not believe you? Not only that, you never asked me what I am! Yeah, you're an Osprey. I know this, it says it right there, it's your name. What the fuck are you talking about? You told me you're a helicopter like everyone else, so you're a helicopter. Right? I know, and I feel like I am! But not many people see it that way. My sister tried to get into our school some years ago. If you had heard the stuff they said to her, Oh, we don't have bathrooms for airplanes, and other things like that. She was really afraid of me going to that school. Oh, is that why she didn't talk to me? She doesn't like to be around helicopters, not anymore. They make her feel unsafe. Ooh, rough game to be in then, yeah? Osprey for life, senpai. Hmm? The Osprey leans against you and gives you a kiss. Oh, this is so sweet. You smile at her. Thank you for always being so nice to me. And for never making me feel like I'm just pretending to be in a helicopter. Dude, I know how painful that can be. Some people just aren't helicopters, you know? Osprey for life, senpai. You can always count on me to have your back, dude. Look at that. Our affinity went up to 11. There's not even a number for that. You continue to study together in relative silence, just enjoying being close to each other. You finish studying with Osprey and get back to the base's hangar. You lay down in your bed and finally fall asleep. And fast forward a few more days. It's the final day at the Academy, and the enemy has finally started their counteroffensive! 
I need each of you to find a partner and go on a mission immediately. Remember, your partner will have your back on each mission, so it's better if you choose someone you get along with. So who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Osprey, hopefully. Thanks again for convincing Augusta Senpai to let me stay. This is the moment I've been waiting for, to prove to everyone my real value. Your affinity points with the V22 Osprey are plus 11! That's good, probably! You have enough affinity points with the Osprey to choose it as a partner. Great, we're gonna choose it. Who do you want to choose to be your partner? Um, the Osprey, obviously. My only option. I choose the Osprey, yes. This is what I desired since the moment you supported me back there, Osprey, for life. You stood by my side when no one else would. Oh! And now I ask you to never leave my side. Are you ready to go on an adventure with me? Let's go, Osprey for life! Oh, so romantic! Oh my god! Just a man and his helicopter airplane. Osprey, whatever. The end. <laughs>